Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday everybody, it's Dollar Tree Day. Um, I got lots of goodies today at the Dollar Tree. I found a few new things, so I'm very excited. I did have to stock up on a lot of things that I was running out of. Um, so I'll go through all that stuff first before we get to the good stuff. So the first thing I grabbed, another bottle of the ibuprofen. It's a 200 milligrams, you get 30 tablets. These things work great, and for a dollar, you can't beat that price. And then I grabbed two more of the Scotty's tissues. You get 148 tissues as um, allergy season is upon us. I expect to be going through these quite a bit. And I love this print. This is my favorite box that they have. And then I just got this one. It's kind of like a little marble box. So that's a pretty good deal. I don't know if I said it. Yeah, you get a 148 two-ply tissues. And then I picked up another one of these um, fresh and clean laundry detergent pods. These work great. I use these mainly for like my kitchen rugs that I have and my dog things that I have. And I let them soak for a little bit and they come out really clean with this stuff. So I have no problem with this. Um, I do use a different laundry detergent on our clothes just because people have sensitive skin and stuff and I don't know how this would be so I'm not even going to take the chance but for that other kind of stuff it seems to work really really good and then I picked up another pack of the Ultra Shine dish detergent for the dishwasher you get 10 in here I love these I always get these they work great I've had no problem with you know like any food left on my plates or anything and then I did pick up another two-pack of the Brillo Basics uh, sponges. I love these out in my kitchen, and the ones I have out there now are getting kind of ooky, so I want to replace them. So these have a two-pack. Every once in a while I get lucky and find the three-pack bonus, but they didn't have them this week. And then I bought a box of these last week, and so I picked up another one this week just for me, because I absolutely love these, and... Um, I don't know, every once in a while, like every few years, I get in the mood to have these. I hadn't had them for a long, long time, and now they just seem to be right on the end display saying, buy me, buy me, every time I go to the Dollar Tree. So I got another one of those, and I picked up this um, one pound, nine ounce container of the Comet with bleach. I love using these in my bathroom, bathroom sink and stuff. So I got another one of those, because my other one was just about gone. And then I picked up another bottle of the Arizona iced tea, and this is the lemon flavor. Everybody seems to like this one. And it's a 59 fluid ounces, so that's a pretty good deal for a dollar. And then, of course, I got another box of my uh, garbage bags that I get every week. Well, not every week, but I was stocked up there pretty good for a while. But I like to grab them when I see them, because a lot of times... This shelf is empty. I guess everybody loves these, and sometimes I can't find them. So I did get another box just to stock up on those again. And then I picked up in the um, fall aisle, I got another one of these ribbons. I used up all that I had last week on some DIYs. I absolutely love the colors in this ribbon. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's the wired ribbon. Ribbon, and it's two and a half inches by nine feet. So you get three yards of that. And then I found this one I thought was really pretty. This is more of a sheer ribbon, and it has like little glittered pumpkins on it, and it's a dark color. I'm liking the darker colors this year for some reason, and that's the same, two and a half inches by nine feet. It's very pretty. Let's see, and they had these when I walked in the door today, and I thought this was really cute. These little headbands, they light up, they say boo with a little exclamation point. I want to see how this looks. I didn't pull the thing out. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. And I think I might use this in a DIY for Halloween. I'm not going to, obviously, probably not going to use it as a headband, but I think this would look really cute in some kind of a Halloween DIY. Don't know what yet, but and it has like a couple different modes to it, it says. Oh yeah, so you can keep it so it stays on steady, and it probably says so right on the box, or on the package. Yep, steady light up, slow flash, flash and fast flashing. So, I thought that was adorable. So we're going to have to do something with that come Halloween time. 
And then I grabbed another pack of my glue sticks. You get 16 in here. I'm really liking these glue sticks. I've been using them for a while now, and they work really well. And I've been going through those like crazy, too. I got things a little mixed up today. I don't have everything organized. And then I found these. I thought these are adorable. They look like a mason jar. And this one says, Hello Fall, and it's just a little wall hanging. Um, it has like the burlap ribbon on the top. And then this one has the good old red truck on there. And I thought that was so cute. This one I'm actually going to keep and hang up as is. I may add a little something to it. But these I got to do some DIYs with. So they have, this was the other one I picked up. This was the only two uh, prints that I saw there. So I got two of those. So I'm going to figure out something cute to do with these. I've seen a lot of cute things that people have made with mason jar shapes. And I do love the mason jars. So I grabbed some more of this stuff. I got two more things of these leaves. Hang on, I got them all mixed up again. Uh, well, let me get the ones out here that want to come out. These are the oak leaves. I haven't seen these in a while at the Dollar Tree. I think I got two of the oak leaves. Yes, I did. There it is. So I got two of the oak leaves, and then I got two of the maple leaves. And I love the colors of these. They're really pretty. So I used up most of my leaves this week, too, doing DIYs. I'm just loving doing this fall of DIYs. They're so much fun. I love holiday decorating. And then I got these um, with the really dark leaves on them. And these have berries and a little gourd. So I picked up two of them. And they're all down at the bottom. Which is probably good because a lot of times they pop off when they're all jammed in there at the Dollar Tree and their little display. But those were nice. And then I picked up another one of the dark mini mums because I've used up most of those. I have a lot of other ones, lighter colors, more orangey, but I like this color a lot. And then I picked up another bunch of the just berries. I like these fall decorating just to stick in here and there. They look really cute. And that's just what they're called, just berries. And then these were new. I haven't seen these before. And these are called globe flowers. And I thought they would look really nice. This is the first time I've seen these. So I thought they were very pretty. And let's see, I'm trying to dig through, get all the fall stuff out here. I picked up this set for my kitchen. I thought these were really nice. I got a set a while ago, and a long time ago, I didn't usually pick these up because they were very thin, but the last ones I picked up were really nice. I've used them, you know, take things in and out of the oven with no problem. And they had these pretty fall ones there, and you get a set of two of the square ones. And then I also picked up the oven mitt that says gather on it and has the pumpkins. So yeah, they're actually very thick uh, compared to what they used to be like anyway. So I thought those are pretty. I am going to go put those out in my kitchen today. And then I picked up another set of the salt and pepper shakers. I used um, my last one that I could find of my owl salt and pepper shakers in a DIY that I did yesterday. So if you're going to pick up the little squirrels this time, they're so cute. And I don't ever use them as salt and pepper shakers because they just look adorable in a, a little fall DIY. Oh, uh, let's see. What else? Anything else fall? I don't think so. I did pick up this picture frame. I'm not sure what size it is. It doesn't say. But it's hard to find just a nice square one, and I did a really cool DIY a few years ago with a nice square frame, and I haven't found them since. So, let me see what this would hold. Well, let's see. The whole thing measures nine and a half inches, so I'm assuming. So it's a nine and a half inch square. And, yeah, there's maybe a half inch in here you take off, so probably nine inch square. Uh, picture you could put in there, but I really like the square one, so that was the only one they had to, of course. It just seems to be my luck when I find something I've been looking for and they have one. Now these were new. I don't know if these are new new. I have never seen these at the Dollar Tree, and I was going to get one and I decided I'm going to pick up two, and these are the patty paper squares to put like in between your hamburgers when you want to freeze them. And I always make up my own hamburgers, I just love them better than the ones that are already prepackaged at the store. 
It says you can use them for cold cuts, sliced cheese, frozen steaks, chocolates. That's a good idea. Caramels, taffy, and more. And you get a hundred sheets in here, and they're five and a half by five and a half inches. So yeah, it shows you all kinds of cool things you can use these for. So I don't know if anybody else has ever picked these up at the Dollar Tree. This is the first time I've seen them, and they had them hanging in a really odd place. Maybe that's why I noticed them this time. They were hanging by where they have like all the glassware and the wine glasses and stuff like that. They had a whole display of these hanging. So I have 200 of those now. And I picked up a writing tablet. This is something I was running out of. Um, I went looking for one the other day and I couldn't find it, so it's just uh, nothing special, just a 100 sheet ruled writing tablet. So grab me one of those, and I picked up another pack of these clips because I don't know where they go, same place as my measuring tape that keeps disappearing, I think the same person is stealing my little pins because they just keep getting lost, but anyway, they're the multi-purpose clips and I use these on everything and anything. I use them on my bird cages to hold their covers on. I use them on chip bags, everything. Stuff that I roll up, put back in the freezer. And I just love those things. And I grab two more of these cute little cardinals because I know the closer it gets to the holidays, these guys disappear really quick. And these are really pretty ones. They have some other ones that look really, really fake looking. But these look so nice in some DIY projects for the holidays, just for winter. I love cardinals. And then I picked up two more of the mason jars. Now these are just plain jars. They don't have like the mason jar, you know, logo or whatever you want to call it on there. And um, it has, you know, your regular mason jar lid. Oops, but I like these for different projects in the winter for, you know, candles or whatever to decorate them up nice. So I got two more of those because I think I used the last of those up last in the spring maybe, I don't know. And then I'll grab two more of these jars. I think I have one somewhere, I hope. I'm, but I want to do a project with these. And I like these a lot, these little jars. I have like a little space here where you could put a label and write on them and everything. And it just has this little like tin thing. And it does have like a little plastic seal here that it closes on. So you could store all kinds of goodies in there. So got two more of them. And then... They had these back again. These are my favorite sunglasses in the whole world. I love these. They're nice and dark, and I have a problem out in the sun with my eyes. <clears throat> it just, I can't be outside on a sunny day without sunglasses. And these are uh, support breast cancer awareness. And yeah, I have a bunch of these, and I'm going to put these up in my cabinet for when I happen to break my other ones. And then I picked up another pack of this, a two pack of the storage containers. It's 5.4 cups, it says. And they're the Betty Crocker little storage containers. These aren't the sturdiest things. They do break after a while, but they do work well and do their job. All right, now the last thing that I picked up, don't hate me for this because they're starting to get the Christmas stuff out. Yeah, I know. It's only the beginning of September, which is ridiculous, but I figure I'm going to grab these now because if they're getting them out now, the odds of them having them by Christmas, you never know. So they have the little wooden stickers, and these have the little um, stockings and candy canes and little mittens on them. And I thought those were really nice, and they just have like a little, um, I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, it's raised with those little sticky dots on the back. And then they had that one. They had the ones with the snowflakes and the stars. And the stars are glittered and the other ones are just plain wood. And these are all wood. So I thought those were really nice. And then it has the Christmas trees on the bottom. And then this one also has the snowflakes in it and has the glittered Christmas trees and some little gift packages. So I am going to stick them away because I don't even want to look at them yet. I don't even want to think about Christmas yet. I want to get through all my fun fall decorating and DIYs. And I do love Christmas DIYs, but it is way too soon for that. 
So that is all that I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I think I found some goodies. I love my new pot holders and things. So I will see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Take care.